Okay, this is uh, Council Richard Barnbrook in my own ward of uh, Goresbrook in the constituency of Barking. Obviously, we're in Barking Dagen. This is the place that we will take the council and get Nick Griffin, our chairman, elected next year. But it demands one simple thing. If not one, two. Let's get it right. Two simple things. First, we need your money. Without question, we need finances to make sure we get information out to every single household. Not part missing things, every single household of the constituency of Barking. That is the only way we'll get Nick Griffin elected. And that is also the way we'll get ourselves into council. Now remember this, in 2006, John Crudder said, after the elections of the council, where we had 13 candidates and 12 were directly elected, first and second, out of three places. John Crudder made a statement, if we'd field a full slate, we'll take the council. I know for a fact, and from the news you'll see later on, every single person we've spoken to, every single person in Barking Dagenham have had thumbs up, the horns bidding for us. We will take this council and I'm damn sure we'll get Nick elected. We need your money and just as much importance towards money, we need you on the streets canvassing and leaveting to make sure we take this borough. Right, we're losing the light here. So uh, we're up against time, and really that sums up the whole of the country in general, but Barking in particular. There's enormous support for us amongst the indigenous, the native people here. There's quite a lot of support also from settled members of ethnic communities who've been here you know, for decades. They paid into the system as much as our people have, and yet they now are too finding themselves going to the back of the housing queue, the back of the benefits queue, put there by the Labour Party behind the recently arrived incomers. There's parts of this constituency now where there's whole streets which a couple of years ago were still ours, which now look like something out of Africa. Time is against us here. We've got to make the breakthrough at this election uh, for Barking to hold the line to show that you know, there is somewhere beyond which the Labour Party can't push people. Quite simply, here in Barking, Two years ago, the Labour Party realised the people of Barking are determined now to get rid of the Labour Party. So the Labour Party is determined, it seems, to get rid of the traditional people of Barking. We haven't got much time. We've got five, six months until this election now. As Richard said, that's going to take a great deal of effort, manpower. We're going to have days of action, weekends of action down here campaigning. We really do need the help of people from all over the country to flood this place with activists to make up for the fact that the Labour Party is trying to flood it with foreigners. We need your activity and also, as Richard said, we need money. We need money now. You don't win an election by fighting really hard in the last three weeks. We've got a whole schedule of literature to start going out in the next few days and every couple of weeks during the campaign we are going to be hitting this place with fresh literature, convincing people that they need and they can get the British National Party running the council and me beating Margaret Hodge for Westminster. Give us your help, give us your time, give us your money, give us something, help us win. Thank you. Thank you.